Hey, what's up guys? I'm Snows, your host for Boot Sequence, and today we have a lot of tech news. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Roll the intro, please. KB Lake X is dead. Usually Intel doesn't discontinue a CPU this quickly, but it's easy to see why. KB Lake X was like the only enthusiast grade CPU that nobody wanted. I mean quad core on X299, maybe, borderline maybe, but an i5 quad core on X299? That just made no sense. So let's take a moment of silence for the anniversary and death of the i5-7640X and the i7-7740X. That was long enough, all right, on to the juicy stuff now. Windows 10 April update is out, and here are some of the cool features. Number one, dictation. Yeah, you could do that before using specific apps, but now you can start writing with your voice anywhere on any app by pressing the Windows key and H, and apparently it works really well. Personally, on my mobile phone, I use it all the time, so this is gonna be another place I'm gonna be able to use it. Number two, edge tab muting. Now you might tell me, well, Chrome already has that. Yes, it does, but it's not native to the app. You have to enable it while on Edge, it's there from the start. I've just recently started to use Edge to watch Netflix since Chrome only displays 720p Netflix and Edge has the 1080p version. Technically, it has the 4K version too, but you need, I think, a 6th or a 7th gen Intel CPU to make it work. And I have a Ryzen 7, so it won't work. Moving on to number three, scaling. Windows was always bad at scaling, but now it's apparently going to be a little bit better. You can let Windows try and fix scaling on its own, although it only works on your main display. And if you have more than one like me right here, and you like to move stuff around between screens, that might not be too interesting. And last but not least, number four, custom audio per app. The Windows audio preferences have been the same pretty much since Windows Vista. Well now, you can have a YouTube video playing through your speakers while focusing on your gaming through your headphones. It's pretty cool, and if you think about it, if you have friends around and you just wanna focus on work, you can have headphones playing whatever you want and they can listen to music at the same time. Let me know which feature you're going to use once you update, or if you even will update. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. Personally, number one, two, and four will be used by me at all times. Moving on, Facebook F8 day one just happened and they had a lot to show, but there's three things that I found really interesting. Number one, Oculus Go has launched at 199. To make it short, it's basically Gear VR without having a smartphone in your face, although you'll need a smartphone to set it up. Link down below for a review from The Verge. Number two, Instagram gets a few upgrades. First of all, they're gonna implement video call, GoPro support, third party filters, and bullying filters, meaning it will filter out bullying comments. Number three, Facebook is going to have a dating section of sorts. The app, with your permission, will recommend you and recommend people to you who have opted into the dating service. They say this app will be designed for meaningful relationships and not just for hookups. I don't know, it feels a little bit weird to see Facebook jump into something like this after the scandals that just happened. All right, and now for some gaming, let's jump into Fortnite for a second where things seem to have been shaken up. New skins? Yes. New emotes? Yes. Map changes? Holy yes. Dusty Depot has been hit by the meteor and is now a big crater named Dusty Divot. The new area is sure to be flooded with more and more players for the next few days, so explore at your own risk. We have a giant crater with what looks like a giant research facility in the middle. You can also find glowing rocks that you can consume to get a much higher jumps for a few seconds. Check out this video from Kiwi's first impression of the map. I don't know the YouTuber, but he was great at showcasing what changed. With all of that, we also get some cool new content added to the Save the World campaign. Also, if you like Team Fortress 2 and Overwatch, go check out this video, link down below. It's awesome. And now for the fun fact about me. Everybody has a webcam, right? I have one too. I bought the Logitech Brio 4K webcam and uh, I thought, hey, let me try it out. So I pressed record and then I forgot about it for three days. I had 240 gigabytes worth of me walking around the house and I've gotta say it was pretty entertaining and depressing 
at the same time. And that is pretty much it for the news, guys. Have yourselves a great day. You can click right here to see the latest video and right here to subscribe to the channel. Oh, is it going to move? Nope, it's still, it's gonna stay right here. Now I have a few seconds to, to, to wait until the video ends because the, hen, the, the, the end cards are right here.